What's going on guys? My name is Mark Wagner and today I'm going to be showing you how I scale my Facebook advertisements. Let's get into the video. Before we hop right into this video, I just want to say that what works for me isn't necessarily going to work for you. Everyone has a different strategy when it comes to Facebook ads and what works is going to be based on your ad, your audience, and a whole bunch of other things that are really a case-by-case -case basis. However, I'm going to be showing you what works for me and what I used to generate over a 4.2 return on ad spend in the past year. Let's get into the video. Just to give me a little bit of credibility and show that I actually kind of know what I'm doing, I'm going to show you that on my lifetime with this ad account, I'm averaging a 4.79 return on ad spend with about $25,000 spent. I don't know about you, but I think those are some pretty good margins. A large reason for this is doing what works for me when it comes to scaling. Now let's hop in my computer and I'll walk you through that scaling process. So whenever I launch a new ad, I set an $8 a day budget. Because it's only $8, it takes a little bit of time to get the proper amount of data for you to decide what you need to do. I generally don't touch the advertisement for the first $15 spent or something around there. The reason why is because Facebook can be really volatile during the first two days or $15, so it's usually not a good reflection of how the ad is going to do long term. After the ad has spent around $15 or so, if it's very profitable with a four times return on ad spend or higher, then I'll duplicate it and double the budget of the ad set. So you're gonna have two identical ad sets, one spending $8 a day and one spending 16. If the ad is slightly profitable, meaning it's under a four times return on ad spend, but you're still making money, then I usually try to bump up the budget by like 15% or somewhere around there. If it's still profitable, but again, under four times return on ad spend, two days after the budget increase, then you can bump it up by another 15% and just keep repeating that process until it either gets over four times return on ad spend or it gets unprofitable. After two days, if it's spent the $15 and it's still not profitable, or maybe it's just barely break even, then I'll wait until it spends about $25 to $30. By then, if it's still not profitable, I'll turn down my budget to two to three dollars a day, which basically means it's a dormant ad set. Sometimes these dormant ad sets can get optimized and end up getting you an insane return on ad spend, which allows you to then scale it up. Okay, so now let's go back to your winning ad sets, which are currently the ones that are spending $8 and $16 per day. Once this $16 ad set has spent around $25, if it still remains above a four times return on ad spend, then I'll duplicate it and increase the budget by another $8. So now you have one ad set spending $8 a day, one ad set spending $16 a day, and another ad set that's spending $24 a day. From then, you can continue the exact same scaling strategy but your most recent duplication needs to go up by $5 every time. So this one we're scaling after it's spent $25, but the next time we're gonna scale it after it's spent $30, and after that 35, and you get the idea. Once one of your winning ad sets has over 20 purchases, you can use this strategy to scale it by 15% per day to just squeeze out a little bit of extra revenue. This scaling strategy probably isn't going to make you a millionaire, but it's a great way to maintain a stable cost per result while increasing your sales. I would say that this is a low risk, low reward Facebook strategy that can easily bring you in $800 to $1,000 a day if done correctly. You may start to run into trouble with profitability when you get into the seven, eight, nine times duplication areas but generally, if your audience is big, then you're going to have more room to scale. All right, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Above all, just make sure you test and see what works for you. Experience is the best teacher, and it will always be. Be sure to hit that big red subscribe button on your way out, and I'll see you in the next one.